Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite girl, the real Miriam Simon. Don't forget it's not an S, but X guys. Okay, so as you can see from the title already, I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial. And I think this is going to be like the first time I'm going to be doing anything makeup wise, anything uh, foundation wise. So that's the reason why this camera is in my face for the first time. Scary, but okay, I'm going to try it. So so yeah, this is the first time I'm doing this video. So you guys should have mercy on me in case this flops. And I really hope it doesn't because I've really, really thought about this for the longest of time. Longest time. Longest time. And I really want to shoot this video. So yes, I'm going to be doing this video today. Alright, stay tuned guys. Okay, so normally the makeup routine I do is foundation first, then my eyebrows, then my eyes, then the rest of my face. But a lot of people do something else. But I'm just going to stick with what I know. And I'm just going to show you guys how I do it. I don't have my primer here because, well, I packed in a hurry. I'm not at home right now. So I did pack in a hurry. But I'm just going to show you guys my basic makeup look when I don't have certain things around me. So stay tuned, guys. Let's start. So first things first, if you notice from my last video, I had four new products that I bought from Maybelline. I don't know if I... I'm pronouncing that right. Please, you guys should let me know in the comment section if I am pronouncing that right. And please, I'm outside. So in case you hear noises from the neighbors, forgive me because of lightning and everything. Um, okay, so I'm going to be using, for my foundation, I'm going to be using Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless Normal to Oily with Clay in 34 Ginger. I don't know if you can see that, but it's in 34 Ginger Fit Me. So I'm going to be using this for my foundation. And another thing I'm going to try today is I've never ever used brush. Chile, I'll slap you. I've never ever ever used brush like for my makeup. So I'm going to try that now. As you can see, I haven't even opened this. So I'm just going to open it now. And I'm going to start this makeup. So you guys should have mercy. So I don't have my primer here, like I said earlier. So I'm just going to go in directly with this. This is wrong. But it still works for me that way, so you guys should bear with me. I don't have my primer, so I'm just going to go in, in sections. I do not in any way minimize my foundation. I just try to blend it as much as I can. But I do not in any way minimize my foundation. So one thing I've noticed with this brush thing or I don't really notice something I saw online with this brush thing is apparently if you stroke you get um, minimum coverage than when you uh, what do you call it than when you dab so I'm not really I'm not really stroking I'm kind of dabbing and stroking at the same time I don't know how that works but that's exactly what I'm doing so I'm going to I'm going in with my foundation first, so let's just do that and I'll get back to you guys. because like i said it is not working for me in any way <laughs> and if it's not working for me then i should not be doing it sorry guys if i keep looking up i have like a mini mirror in front of me so yeah so that thing i did earlier sorry did not work it's not for me i'm not even trying it again maybe till i learn how to properly do it then i'll start doing it but till then i am not no i will not try it thank you very much for your patronage but i, I think i've had enough so 
that's about see the difference is so clear like what like i said this particular foundation is not full coverage so it will take a lot to give me that look i want but like i also said i do not minimize my foundation so for those that minimize their foundation that is your choice so i'm also going to go in with this on my forehead and just keep tapping that through okay so now that i have all of that in check i'm just going to now drag all of this down just to kind of even it out uh, my neck area okay so now that i've done that i'm just going to let this set i'm just going to let this relax then i'm going to go in for my brows so i don't know what to do for my brows but i don't know the shape i want for my brows to be very honest but whatever the case may be i'm still going to do them right i mean the makeup is not complete without the brows we all know that so like i said forgive me if i keep looking up because because i really do not know how all these things work Okay, so uh, okay, all right. So let's try these feather strokes.
this one decided to be. Who am I to refuse? Who am I? Nobody. Us to try to be like sisters, with twins. So I try to be even twins are always identical. So yep. So get that done. As you can see, my brows are done. Now I'm just going to go in with that same mix from earlier, and I'm just going to. I'm just going to do my under eye. So, like I said, I don't know how clean it's going to be. It looks a mess, but I'm just going to take this like a big scoop because now this is under eye magic. And I want to pop even if I'm trying to be light. So, I'm going to mix it, and I'm not going to put as much foundation as I put before. So, I'm just going to put and I'm going to mix so if you notice it's way lighter than the earlier one so I'm going to pop this up here and pop this here I don't know if every other person does that, but yeah. So now we're just going to work on this in My beauty blender is a bit, um, what do you call it? My beauty blender is a bit. How do I put it? It's a bit wet, so. I'm also going to go with my foundation. I'm just going to pop this in the middle here. I'm going to pop all this in goodness, delicious goodness in the middle. Pop this delicious goodness in the middle. Then I'm going to go with this and I'm going to start blending. Going with this brush, still from Casabella. I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, but this brush from Casabella, and I'm going to go in with my Super Stay in 65 Coconut. You can see it's my exact color. So before I do that, I'm still going to dab on this to make sure that I don't have lines because I have eye bags. So. Then I'm going to go in with this. I'm just going to smooth this all out like
that you don't understand that so I do have that type of pink so now I have to throw it down because it's looking a bit too much so I still have product from my orange kind of I'm just going to dab that all around and kind of turn it down a bit so it's not so bright so that's just what I'm going to do just going to turn it down a bit blend 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 right. so I think this is looking a bit lighter than before so I'm going to go in with a little bit of black not really black like a brown shade that's a little bit dark this one here Going to take this and put on um, my crease just to have that dark effect. So, this is this right here. Like I told you guys before, like this makeup is like my go to. Sorry, it's taking a long time, but this is like my go to makeup routine. I think that's why my dad is always complaining whenever we're going out because. Whose husband wants to be waiting for another girl? Like, even if it's my father, like, are you my wife? Why should I just have a piece of it? So, I do have this, and now I'm just going to line it. This is where I always have the shoes. But I'm going in with this You Are, You Take. It reminds me of Zara. Zara, baby, in the yeah, yeah. Zara, I love you wherever you are. But I'm going to go in with this and I'm just going to draw my wing. So
Now, my go to makeup look is usually this a little bit of highlight in the middle and gloss. But I'm going to be trying a new, not really a new product, but it's an old product I've had, but I hardly ever use it. So I'm going to try it now. It's um, the Milani Gloss, or yeah, the Milani Gloss is in 32 Emotion. And I'm just going to go in with the first one. Uh, my bold red lipstick and to be honest it doesn't look bad it doesn't look bad at all so now I'm just going to go with my powder I'm going to finish things off here I'm just blending everything out like I said no mascara no That's about that. I hope you enjoyed this. I should definitely put a wig on. Yeah. Just do it. Okay, so finally I'm just going to go in with my mascara. I do have long lashes. So most times um how do I put it? It's not really necessary do my lashes as long well, like every day So for my hair, I got this hair from my auntie. Uh, I'll put everything you need to know about this hair in the description box below. I also put the products I use in the description box. I got it from my auntie like a few years back and it still works for me. Everything is so nice, tinted, plopped. It's a closure week but it's like this. So in a moment I will store this when I'll get back to you guys so guys this is that finished look for every day go to go to school go to class um quickly run out get groceries no i don't do that i'm african we don't do this to go get groceries we just wear hair comments anyway so this is it this is the finished look thank you guys for joining me on this my adventure today i didn't think i was going to go through with this but i do look good and i should i comment like is there anything you want me to do better do you want me to continue with this video or do you have any other ideas of videos you want me to do because i just tried everything and this was nice but it was hella stressful but if it was beneficial to some people thank god if it wasn't like i don't know but this is me. This is my final look. I love this look. This is my everyday look. This hair is like my everyday go-to hair.
for everything basically i can pack it can rough it up if i just leave it flying or slip it down the way i did or anything but this is my finished look this is my everyday look thank you so much for watching this video i love you guys so so much from the depth of my heart guys like so much and you know that thank you for staying with me thank you for staying tuned i love you guys if you haven't subscribed please don't forget to click the subscription button and also don't 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 forget to click the notification button listen up if you want to know more about the products i used on my face check in the description box below and also you could check out my previous video right here where i showed the products i bought from maybelline and if you haven't watched my other videos please watch it then happy new month to everybody i'm using this video to say happy new month to all my subscribers i started with zero and now i think we're at 90 something we're almost 100 so i think that's progress i'm not consistent i know if i'm consistent it'll be better but those who are with me right now i love you guys i'll never forget you guys i swear to god thank you so much this is it's wonderful having you guys i think i'm talking too much but i love you guys that's just the whole point peace and one love see you guys in my next video bye